Hello, hope everybody is doing well. So I know some of you are about to embark on your spring break. I know some of you have a week left for your spring break. Um, and maybe there's some alternative version of spring break time that I don't even know about with all of these calendars. So um, I'm going to give you a quick little video today and then I've got some little snippets that I will be posting over the course of next week since we're on kind of a choose your own adventure calendar at the moment. All right, so where we are, um, I'm working through annotated bibliographies and sentence outlines. Some of you already have your feedback. Some of you are still waiting. I'm hustling through as quickly as I can. Um, a couple things that I wanted to mention that I have noticed as I have been moving through. Um, first of all, some folks are relying really heavily on generic web articles. Please make sure that you use the library's databases to also get some more substantial sources. Um, there are some good articles out on the general web, uh, but finding some more academic information will help you have a lot more substance to work with for your essay. I've also seen quite a lot of folks trying to use Wikipedia, Encyclopedia Britannica, stuff like that for your annotated bibliography. We did that in the preliminary research because those can be really good jumping off points, but those don't count toward your source count for the essay. Okay, um, so this is, you know, Wikipedia can be useful if you're looking at something that's a recent event, if you need some basic knowledge, um, if you kind of need a one stop shop to kickstart your research and send you to some sources because Wikipedia will link some stuff. Um, but it's not something that you want to rely on as a main source for your essay. So please, um, avoid the encyclopedias and dictionaries and stuff like that. You need to be looking at some substantial work here for your essay. Now, there are some really good news sources that will give you some really substantial reporting, stuff like the New York Times, um, uh, the Atlantic, National Review, things like that. Um, you can get some more in-depth reporting through. That's cool. Um, a really short article from CNN isn't going to give you a lot to work with, though sometimes those articles link to the bigger studies. So I recommend that you go to the primary source rather than the secondary source when you can. Okay, um, Wikipedia is going to typically be a secondary source, but there can be some primary source stuff linked down there at the bottom. So some of you need to continue doing research. I'll also mention that if you can't find substantial information on your topic, that might be a problem. That's why we did that preliminary research. That's why you did topic proposals and I gave you some feedback. Um, so definitely consult with the librarians to get some help if you're struggling with your research. I'm also glad to help. Um, and that brings me to what we've got going on these next two weeks. So it's drafting time. It's time to start turning these beautiful outlines into drafts. It's time to start taking the information from your sources and synthesizing that into your draft. Now, knowing that we've got some folks off this coming week and some folks off the next week. You have one solid deadline, uh, which is, I forgot to turn the page on my calendar to look. I'm gonna say the 14th since today's the last day of the month. Um, so over the next two weeks, um, you will need to have your draft conference with me. I've posted the sign up sheet. It's a Google Doc. You can just uh, take the line away and type your name in at the slot you want make sure you put it on your calendar, you set a reminder so that you don't forget it. Um, I do close slots the night before or the day before, so if you have if you haven't signed up, I'll take slots off the calendar. I will also add some as they come up. So if I find, if I have some stuff get canceled, you know, meetings get canceled and stuff like that, um, I may add some more slots. Also, if there's nothing that works with your schedule, please email me. I can work something out with you. So the way our draft conferences work, you write your draft and you will email it to me if we're meeting virtually, as I know most of us will. You'll email it to me before your conference time. At conference time, you'll come to the virtual office. I'll come to the virtual office. We'll open your draft on the screen. We'll go through and talk about it. Come with any questions. If there's something in particular that's bugging you as you're working on your draft, let me know that so that we can address that first. So we'll go through the draft together. Um, we'll talk about it. We'll deal with any problems that we find. I'll put comments on there. I can even record our session and send you a session recording and I'll send you back your draft with comments. So you get a one-on-one, -on -one, you get a recording of the session uh, and you get comments on your paper. Now, I know a few of you may want to come meet in person because some of you have come to see me in person before. That is totally fine too. Just bring a printed copy of your paper, okay? Um, and we'll write on it, we'll look at it together uh, and then you'll have that to take with you and do what you need to do. Um, please don't be self-conscious about this meeting. Sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't want you to look at it. Well, I'm gonna look at it and grade it eventually. So let's look at it before I grade it and make sure that we are tackling everything. So 
The rubric for the essay is available for you. It's big. Don't let that scare you. I just, once again, want to be super transparent in the grading process so that you see where all of your points are uh, coming from. Uh, so make sure that you look at that as you're drafting. Uh, all of those requirements come together to give you your grade. So make sure that you feel good about those things. Um, if there are things you have questions about, let me know. Um, I'm covering a few things in videos this week. Um, introductions, conclusions, paragraph development, stuff like that. Um, if you have some specific questions or some things that you want me to focus on, please let me know and I will do that. Um, CCCC is on spring break starting Tuesday, but I will be working uh, except for Friday. We're totally closed uh, next. Why do I keep looking at my calendar when I know I didn't turn the page? Ah, habits. Uh, so I am uh, available in person and virtually Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'll be available virtually on Thursday. and I'll be out of the office on Friday because we're closed. Um, so all of that said, for those of you embarking on break. I hope it's lovely. For those of you who have one week to push through, you can do it and then enjoy your break. Um, and I'll just be here working away, grading and getting stuff done. I am trying to turn around outlines so that you all can get started on your drafts as soon as possible. Um, I'm trying to get all of those wrapped up today. So everything that came in on time uh, should be returned today, even if that means I got to burn the midnight oil to get it done. Um, so just be in touch if I can help you. And um, I hope everybody gets the rest that they need because I know we're all exhausted. You all have a wonderful weekend, week, whatever it is you're having. And I am here to help if you need me. Take care.